Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mighty High and the last episode we went trying to look for a notch apple and we flew pretty far but we were unsuccessful. We did find some really cool biomes like an ice bikes biome and stuff like that but still no notch apple. So I've come across some coordinates that might be of help in finding at least the desert temple because that's the most likely structure that they're being from what I can figure out. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode and if we've got time then I'll come back to our base and we can get some other stuff sorted out because I want to try and wind down this project really uh, so I'm hoping within the next month or so that um, we can actually finish this whole base and then I want to start another project but to start another project I really do want to finish this place and not really leave it unfinished because as we can see around me there are still bits that need sorting out like these villages and I also want to terraform the whole of this area as well with all my um, mushroom places which is just over here I know I'm walking back but hey ho <laughs> so I want to terraform the whole base basically into this so I think that's going to look pretty cool but it's going to take some time as well I also want to make a massive wall around my base as well which is why I've got all these white concrete pillars around because that's kind of the outline for what kind of wall we're going to have but enough about that so why don't I get some sleep and meet you guys at our coordinates all right so we've made it to our destination now and uh, this is what we're looking for so it's not a proper one because this one looks like it's buried but this is obviously a desert temple so this is kind of the structure I'm looking for for a not chapel because that's they're easy to find in deserts and also they carry quite a lot of loot compared to other structures and stuff so I'm hoping that I haven't been to any of these I've already come across one which I've already been to and also I'm not that far away from my base either so it's possible that the ones I come across um, have already been raided but let's go into here and have a look to see if it has been it doesn't look like it has so that's a good sign so let's get down here no I definitely haven't raided this one because there's still a pressure plate there so let's get rid of that pressure plate and we also want to be grabbing this TNT if we can as well so why not grab this while we're at it and then we can kind of do I have any torches on me yes I do so we can put some blocks there and place a torch and hopefully we have something in these chest so the first chest is some gunpowder bones and oh an iron horse iron horse armor is pretty decent though so not really much though apart from some rotten flesh some bones and some gunpowder in this one we have a protection 2 book so that's not too bad I guess a lot of gunpowder and some bones so I'll take the gunpowder and bones I'll leave all the rotten flesh third chest bit of iron can't go wrong with that really some gunpowder some bones, some sand which I don't really need, uh, some rotten flesh and also a bit of iron horse armour. So the last chest and unfortunately it's only a golden apple. That is really disappointing but oh well. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be but it is. Oh a saddle as well. Cool. So unfortunately there's not really much in this one but I've got some coordinates for other ones so I'm hoping that we can still find one so let's leave this place be and f try and find the other ones all right coming into view now we've got our second desert temple so I don't know if I've raided this one or not but it looks like I have yes I have indeed uh, so this one's a bust but I um yeah I'm just going to leave it yeah ow ow Oh, that didn't work. Okay, okay, glitchy flying. <laughs> yeah, there's still the really old deserts there as well, or desert village there as well, just out of interest. So, I've still got a couple more to have a look at, so why don't we fly over there and see if we can still find one of these apples. Alright, so I've come across another desert temple, so hopefully we can get find what we're looking for in this one. It looks like I haven't raided it either, so I'm just going to add some torches, just to indicate that I have. 
if I ever find it again and is there a pressure plate there yeah there is so I haven't been to this one yet either so let's get rid of that and hello bat can I get your head um apparently not but let's do that anyway <laughs> and let's grab this as well because you can never have enough TNT and then let's have a look in these chests so chest number one standard gunpowder and sand I really don't need any sand to be honest with you so whatever sand I do have in my inventory I'm just gonna chuck in there there's one bit of iron and rotten flesh is just useless unless you're trading it with villagers but I'm not gonna bother same in this chest not really much spider eyes I don't need anymore I don't really need string either so that's kinda useless in this one ooh, some diamonds awesome I didn't realize that was a thing but apparently it is so that's all good oh there's a saddle there some gunpowder don't need that and shall I take the string yeah why not it's useful anyway so chest number three ah oh, another golden apple oh but got some emeralds at least and some bones and some spider eyes and some rotten flesh nothing really interesting in there so the last chest and was that wait have I just checked them all okay that was just me being dumb okay unfortunately there's still not in there so I've got a couple more locations to check so I'm flying to the coordinates I have but we're over a mesa biome here and it's made making me wonder whether we could find one in an abandoned mine shaft because you can find quite a lot of abandoned mine shafts on the top of the mesas so that might be worth looking into if we can't find uh, what we're looking for in a desert um, it's a possibility anyway but for now let's have a look and try and find these coordinates alright so I found another one here I think this is probably our fifth if not our sixth one we found so far so let's just find a bed in this village it looks like I've already been here though Oh no, the bell's still there, so maybe I haven't. And there's still some hay bales there, so it's possible I haven't. Let's oh, let's just use my bed. I've got a. That would be the easy way of doing it. Villagers are sleeping. Oh, hello. You just just popped up quite nicely, didn't ya? Oh well, I'm going to take my bed back. Thank you. I'm also going to take that, and I'll come back for them later. Let's have a look at this desert temple to see if there's anything in here hopefully I haven't raided this one either but it's possible that I have it looks like I haven't though ow there's a skeleton in here though and a creeper Jesus man oh can I guess uh, maybe I could get a uh... no no no. Ah, no I was gonna say maybe I can get a disc but that didn't happen where the he what the hell I swear he just disappeared what? um Oh yeah, that's why. What are you doing? Go away, please. Thank you. I was going to say, it doesn't look like there's anything under here, but I might be wrong. Uh, let's get rid of uh, this and this and this and this. Ah, uh, there we go. It's down here, so I need to actually check my inventory as well. So let's just chuck a load of stuff in this shulk box, which I have spare. So let's just chuck all this junk in here. I say it's junk, it's not really. Some Most of it's quite useful, to be fair. Uh, so let's just do that and grab that back so I don't forget it. And then we can dig ourselves down here. Probably should put a light on there, though. Oh, not this again, please. Phantom blocks. Damn it. And then get rid of you. And I want the TNT as well, so let's grab this. Right oh now we've got that sorted we can see what's in these chests so chest number one a fire aspect book that's not too bad I guess and some gunpowder some iron I might as well take the string as well uh, and the bones why not I'll leave the rotten flesh in there this one we've got some gunpowder some string but nothing else oh yeah there's a saddle in there let's grab that in this one we have some emeralds a golden apple unfortunately not a notch apple, some bones and rotten flesh which I don't need and a saddle and last chest we have some emeralds some bones some sand 
and a golden some golden horse armor but still unfortunately no not chapel so ooh, what's behind here nothing <laughs> so i think i've got one more on my list to have a look at and after that then i'm a bit stuffed so let's have a look and see if we can find it all right so here we have the last desert temple on the list so if we don't find anything in here or a not chapel in here shall i say then i haven't got a clue what we can do but let's hope we can find one although it's not very hopeful but let's just dig ourselves down and figure that out ourselves if these blocks wouldn't be glitchy that would be great thank you very much let's add some torch there as well get rid of that grab the you know the drill by now grab all this and then let's just pull ourselves back up yep that uh, did i leave any tnt down here yeah it looks like i have cool cool Righto, so chest number one, we have some standard stuff, nothing special in there, I'm not even going to bother with the sand and the eye spider eyes. Chest number two, we have some gold, some string and some gunpowder and stuff. Oh, there is two saddles in here though, so that's a good, that's a win at least. We can put you back, okay, chest number three, oh, just some string some horse armor and some rotten flesh and chest number four um fortunately we don't have what we're looking for oh well right okay then that's a bit annoying but hey ho there's a bit of gold in there still so can't complain too much we still got quite a lot of stuff though in all fairness plus we have pretty much filled this shulker chest as well so we still got quite a bit of loot at least if nothing else but still not really what i'm looking for um i might have to just wing it to be honest with you guys because it's going to be really hard to actually find one now isn't it unless i can find some um unless i go to the mesa uh, that's a possibility mind but let's fly up here probably a good idea to fly home because my elytra is pretty much gonna die i'd be lucky enough to get home as it is so let's fly back to our base and see what else we can do so i was flying over this mesa going back to my base and i've just seen this chest over here so let's have a look and see what's in it but nothing special by the looks of things oh well yeah, it's worth a try and let's do that anyway and why not have a little look around here eh do i have any torches not many uh, that's normally the case with me to be fair with you but if we can find a few bits and pieces around here i wouldn't be too bad it wouldn't be too much of a problem although it doesn't look like this is very safe either and it looks like there's loads of dead ends that's kind of annoying anything down here Come on, there's got to be something down here. I know there's loads of gold around here, but I'm not really looking for gold. Oh, there's a zombie or oh, zombies here. Let's get rid of these guys, eh? Hey, goodbye. Good. Whoa, hello. Just uh, pop up out of nowhere, why don't you, mate? No problem. Uh, anything down here, maybe? Possibly. No. Uh, is it worth grabbing this gold? It probably is, to be fair. So let's grab this as well, hey? I've come across a few more bits of gold as well, so I might as well grab it while I can. I am here, so it's just going to go to waste otherwise, isn't it? There's some spider webs mined, but I don't think I need them. I don't really need the gold as much as I need to, really, but it's worth grabbing anyway. Uh, anything around here, maybe? Oh, a bit of gold still. Oh, eight vein. That's cool. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, there's a spider there, though. Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. <laughs> Nothing down here. That's just a dead end again. Yep. Okay. Wow. That's quite a lot of gold there, though. How much gold do I have already? Oh, it keeps going. I've got 35 gold ore already. Just wandering around literally a couple of, um, what would you call them? Mine shafts, even. And there's some more here. So that's all good. But I still haven't really found what i'm looking for so i might just do a tiny bit of exploring around here and have a look and come back to you if i see anything worth of interest all right so it's been a few minutes and i decided to 
basically have a little look and see if I can find anything around here in these uh, abandoned mine shafts and I've come across another chest but whether it's got what we're looking for in it who knows so let's find out and no it doesn't of course it doesn't it does have some torches though that's all good oh a name tag awesome uh, that will do and some bread I don't really need any bread to be fair but I might as well take it just in case and is it worth grabbing no it's not really worth to actually yeah let's do that as well so if they despawn they despawn if they don't they don't it might be a good idea to grab that minecart though to be fair so let's just fill around with the items until we grabbed it and there we have it so I'll be I'm just going to basically have another little look around here to see if we can find anything interesting um, or another a few more chests oh that looks dangerous yep yep I'm not going that way I am not going that way <laughs> jeez oh another chest nice what's through here uh nothing floating rail apparently awesome we've got another chest though so let's just quickly make sure we're safe here yep we are or relatively safe anyway so oh gold that's not too bad i don't need the spider eyes i don't really need them got another name tag though so that's all good and i might as well try and sort out my inventory while i can oh maybe not that one then this one yeah why not let's just chuck a load of stuff in here and yep so i should probably just do this yep let's just do that and then chuck all this stuff in here as well oh maybe not let's get the other one out i've got one more shock box left <laughs> for stuff like this but oh well so that's all that stuff in there now so let's just have another tiny little look around i'm not going to spend too much time here now i've spent quite a lot of time here already to be fair with you guys uh so i'll come back to you guys if i see anything all right so unfortunately i didn't find what we're looking for i did get quite a lot of gold i think i got about two or three stacks of gold ore so i can't really complain on that front but I still haven't found a not chapel and I think I'm just going to leave this place unless there's something down there. No, that might just be me. <laughs> oh, it's just a water pot. Hello. Hi there. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, head off back home to be fair with you guys. So, I think it's this direction. Yeah, it is. It's basically just this direction going another 3,000 blocks. I really do like this landscape though. That is awesome how they've done that. <laughs> That's pretty cool as well. It's almost floating. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, distractions aside. If I do come across anything on the way home. I shall let you guys know. But I think I'm just going to try and get home as soon as possible. I did manage to mend my elytra a tiny bit. Because of fighting mobs and stuff. But. I'm still not sure if it's enough to get me back so that's the reason why I need to be careful but apart from that if I see anything I'll let you guys know but if not then I shall meet you guys back at the base right we've made it back to our base now and I'm lucky that it didn't actually take that long I still got quite a bit of durability on my elytra in comparison to what I did have so that's all good and this in these three shulk boxes is all the loot we managed to grab so we got quite a lot actually so we got quite a lot of gold how much gold do we have two two and a bit stacks there is there any gold in here there's some gold apples and some gold bars but no gold ore so that's quite a lot of gold i managed to get i'm pretty happy about that then we got some odds and sods in there um nothing really of interest in here we got some emeralds some gold some horse armor which is always good to have a golden apple and some name tags and in here we got three diamonds out of all that that's awesome and then we got a couple of golden apples a fire aspect book and a protection 2 book i could do with protect more than protection 2 but it will do i guess uh, quite a bit of tnt some horse armor and some saddles so there's still some pretty decent stuff in here uh, although we don't have what we're looking for i do have a notch apple in my chest though so i might as well just 
go ahead and make the banner pattern out of this to be fair and then if I find another one then hopefully we can get the achievement for eating all the stuff in the game but for now I think I'm going to grab that and I think it's paper I think you just surround it in paper to make the banner pattern but I'm really not entirely sure let's just go to our crafting table and check there it is banner pattern thing <laughs> that's what they're calling it apparently thing yeah <laughs> which is the enchanted golden apple or the notch apple and just one bit of paper so that's all good and that gives you the thing banner pattern which is awesome so Although we didn't find what we were looking for, we still got what we needed, so I'm kind of happy about that. And also, it's kind of uh, good to go exploring sometimes, just to chill out and have a little relax. I know we did it last episode as well, but who who doesn't like a bit of exploring, hey? So, now we've got our banner pattern, we can actually make some banners out of this. But I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode, because I am kind of out of time for today. So, even though we didn't get much done, I've still had quite a lot of fun in this episode. It really is quite fun exploring for a couple of episodes sometimes. So, I'm going to try and do that every now and again. But, unfortunately, I am out of time for today's episode. So, thank you very much for watching. My name is Mighty High. If you like this video, then please click the like button, and if you really liked it, then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. I've been Mighty High, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.